In 2019, the Oakland A's were one of the best teams in all of baseball, winning 97 games and finishing second in the AL West behind the Houston Astros. They were talented, they were clutch, having the most walk-off wins in the American League with 10, and after clinching a wildcard spot for the second straight year, this time being the top wildcard spot, it would all come down to the wildcard game against the Tampa Bay Rays at the Oakland Coliseum. The fans packed the place, were loud and rowdy, only to see their A's drop 5-1, and when Marcus Semien struck out to end the A's season, that was the beginning of the end. 2020 was another strong year for Oakland, except it wasn't nearly as exciting with no fans in the stands anywhere because of the pandemic. In that shortened season, though, they'd win the AL West for the first time since 2013, only to lose and get eliminated by the Houston Astros in the first round. And that offseason, like clockwork in, in typical Oakland A's fashion, the dominoes started to drop. Not too many of them did, but Marcus Semien leaving Oakland for a one-year prove-it deal in Toronto with the Blue Jays was just the start. The A's still had a good competitive roster though, even without a Marcus Semien who would go on to hit 45 home runs, breaking the record for home runs in a single season by a second baseman. With that said, they didn't match the prior three seasons, seasons which featured playoff teams going to win only 86 games in 2021, finishing third in the division and missing out on the postseason for the first time since 2017. And then, boom, the destruction of an entire franchise seemingly overnight. That offseason, the A's did a fire sale, trading all of their good players. They'd trade Matt Olsen to the Braves, Matt Chapman to the Blue Jays, Chris Bassett to the Mets, Sean Manaya to the Padres, while also letting players like Starling Marte and Mark Hanna leave in free agency. They even lost their manager, not by firing him, but by letting him leave and sign a new contract with the Padres to become their manager. And as you would expect, the fans did not respond well to this. So what did they do? Well, they just simply did not show up. Now, it's not like Oakland was packing the stadium beforehand in the regular season, as their attendance had only gone way down since their last playoff season before the pandemic, finishing second to last in attendance in 2021. Well, that only got worse. To give you an example of how bad it got, in a game early last year in April of 2022 featuring the A's taking on the Orioles, the team announced an attendance of 3,748 people. And it pretty much would stay that way for the entire year, as the A's would go on to lose over 100 games and finish last in not just their division, but in the American League. It was such a sad, miserable, and depressing season in Oakland, with the only memorable thing to happen at the Coliseum last year being two fans who decided to put on a little show, if you know what I mean. Two fans, two of about seven at the stadium that day, having some rated X fun with it being all over the news. That happened, rather than a good A's team winning a game. Words don't describe how pathetic that whole scenario is, as it's more of a representation of how the A's season was going and how the franchise was going overall, and it's only continued to go downhill. The A's went into this season, 2023, with little to no expectations, and if anything, even lower expectations than at the start of last year. The average baseball fan probably could not name more than two players on this roster, they are dead last in payroll, and the team just didn't look very good or promising, and it's of course showing. Really quick, but if you enjoy the content, become part of the 30% of viewers who are subscribed to the channel. Thank you. At the time of me recording this video, the A's have started off the 2023 season with just three wins. They've lost 16 games, and they're already making history for all the wrong reasons. In a recent game against the New York Mets, the A's lost 17-6. to Horrible, right? It's even worse with context. Before the game even started, Mets broadcasters Gary Cohen and Ron Darling had to leave their broadcast booth and broadcast the game from another location in the stadium because a possum, an animal you will frequently see roaming around the Coliseum, entered the visitor's booth and crapped everywhere. So like I said, Cohen and Darling had to leave, go to another booth in the stadium to call the game, a booth that was smaller and had an obstructed view. For example, there was literally a pole in front of Cohen. The play-by-play -play guy. You know, the dude who needs to see what's going on had to settle for either a room with a bunch of possum shit everywhere or a pole preventing him from fully seeing the game. That's the Oakland Coliseum for ya. As for what happened on the field, A's pitchers walked not one, not two, not three, but 17 Mets hitters throughout the game. 17, with four of them coming with the bases loaded. That is unheard of. And I don't know what's sadder, the fact that this happened or what A's manager Mark Kotze had to say after the game. 
quote, we've been continually sending the message to these guys that they've got to throw strikes. Throw strikes in the middle of the plate right now. Don't walk anybody. If you get hit, you get hit. We'll go from there. So that's the continued message that we're going to pound. It's killed us all season and we've got to address it and we've got to get better. End quote. Well, that's depressing. So Mark Kotze, manager of the Oakland A's, is basically taking the Little League route at this point. Just throw the ball over the plate. That's all he can emphasize right now for his pitchers to do rather than get outs. Just get it over the plate. I also love how he says it's killed us all season, like we aren't just a few weeks into this thing. It's been about three weeks, yet it already feels like six months for the A's. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse for the Oakland A's, the franchise is officially putting the nail in the coffin. They are done. It's over. Literally. Not only do they suck, not only do they not pay their players, and not only is there more possum shit than fans on a nightly basis, but the Oakland A's will soon be no more, as they will be moving to Las Vegas. It has just been reported that the Oakland Athletics reached an agreement to acquire land near the Las Vegas Strip and said that they hope to be playing games in a new billion dollar retractable roof stadium on the site by 2027. This is real, this is happening, as the team themselves just released a statement on the matter, confirming everything, and the mayor of Oakland is not happy, issuing a statement saying the city would no longer negotiate with the A's, and accusing them of never actually having any intention on staying in Oakland. Quote, the city has gone above and beyond in our attempts to arrive at mutually beneficial terms to keep the A's in Oakland. In the last three months, we've made significant strides to close the deal. Yet, it is clear to me that the A's have no intention of staying in Oakland and have simply been using this process to try to extract a better deal out of Las Vegas. I am not interested in continuing to play that game. The fans and our residents deserve better." End quote. This has pretty much been the expected outcome for a while now, as even the commissioner of baseball Rob Manfred said this past December that they are past any reasonable timeline for the situation in Oakland to be resolved. And well, that turned out to be true. The A's are done. They're dead. And with that, officially marks the death of every former sports team in Oakland. The Golden State Warriors, who used to play in an arena right next to the Coliseum, moved to San Francisco. And as for the NFL team, the Raiders, they moved to Vegas where the A's will soon be joining them. This is honestly pretty sad. It's a shame. It really is. Oakland fans deserve better. I've said in the past that there is no better playoff atmosphere than the Oakland Coliseum in October, and I truly mean that. There really are a ton of passionate Oakland fans out there, people who live and die by this team. They deserve better, and it's unfortunate to see a team with such a rich history like this leave. The ownership in Oakland is terrible. John Fisher, the owner, is very hated over there by seemingly everyone, or at least seemingly every fan. You know, the people who actually matter most when it comes to this game. Despite being one of the worst teams in baseball last year, the A's still profited over $60 million because of the TV deals and league revenue sharing combined with not investing much into the team. It's just an overall mess. The A's have actually put out some good teams over the years, especially ever since Moneyball. But at the same time, the franchise has only been slowly destructing itself, and it took a while, but it finally imploded. The Oakland A's are dead, and Las Vegas, you will soon have a baseball team.